Uh, I'm looking real forward to you know all the work we've done put in you know day in and day out and just getting the feel for each and everybody you know because you know we got a bunch of new guys and guys that's already been here so just I'm getting the opportunity to just go out there and play as as a as a unit you know to show the world like what we've been working on is you know something to uh, be excited about. You say show the world. What is something that's going to surprise people about the Panthers this year? Uh, just how we're doing things differently here and. Uh, just a uh, sense of urgency we bring it out there each and every day. You know, like everybody wants it. Everybody's like hungry. So, and uh, that we feed off each other out there. I mean, obviously it's a new team, new coaches. But you know, like I said, we, it's football at the end of the day, and you, you, you strap up just like everybody else do. And uh, we try not, we try to be ourselves out there every snap. You've played through new offenses before. Does it take a few weeks to kind of really get things going? Should there be more expectations? I mean, like I said, it's football at the end of the day. It's like. Whoever throwing the ball, it shouldn't matter. I mean, it's time and it's time, you know. Uh, and uh, you just go out there and make make the quarterback look good at all times. Uh, obviously, you want to get the the timing down and the throws or whatever the case may be. But like I said, it's football. You go out there, same X's and O's, and uh, like like I said, everything else gonna take care of itself. After working through full off season with Dave's offense that he's bringing in here, what excites you the most to play in? Uh, just how they're using me and uh, moving me around. Um, so it's it's different. You know, just being ever being back at the X spot uh, again. So like I said, just looking forward to seeing like certain plays they call. You know, try to get me involved early, and um, that's gonna build momentum uh, off that. Uh, just getting give me the bar early, and everybody else gonna do their thing. Have you seen guys embracing kind of this underdog role? Maybe where some folks are counting you out. Is, is there any sort of approach mentally that, that you can take in that regard? No, I just. I never forget, but I just carry a chip on my shoulder and just go out there and I try to be the best version of me. And um, I'm going to do that day in and day out. And um, like I said, I try not to let it get, get to me because I've always been in this position since Little League football. So it's nothing new to me. So it, it sparks me to keep going and just you know, not worry about the outside noise and only worry about what goes on in here and what my coaches think of me. So. But, but is it particularly? A, but, but is it particularly gratifying when you do find success? When when people have counted you out, does that make it? Look oh like yeah, same? most definitely. You know, just because you you keep them quiet when you you, you prove them wrong and um, you make plays consistently and show them like what it takes to be you know a, a, a great receiver in this league. And uh, like I said, I'm just gonna keep stacking days and uh, keep proving that each each Sunday. That's a guy that gets acquired in trade. It's an identification of a team that wants you and what you bring uh -huh. as more than it is an indictment of what you did before. And I don't think anybody can indict what you did in Pittsburgh. But does that kind of also add a little gas to your tank to say, these guys wanted me here, and this is because they, they want what I can do? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, it was me, I was kind of disappointed in you know what I'm saying, situation, but stuff happens. And like I said, I can only control what I can control. And, uh, I'm happy to be here, you know, with an organization that that wants me. You know, I'm gonna give everything I got to the Panthers, and um, like I said, I'm, I'm ready to, uh, for the Sunday to, to show to, show, to show everybody what they've been uh, looking forward to. Coach Canales was saying yesterday that uh, you never, he doesn't, he's never seen you stop on a play in practice. Never seen you stop on a play. <laughs> nah, is, I, is that, I mean, is that in, in your DNA? Is that how you played? Is that how you've been coached? Where does that come from for you? Uh, just playing to the whistle, you know. Uh, Coach T was telling us that. Canellis tells us the same thing when I was in Pittsburgh or whatever. Now I'm here, so it's the same thing. So just play to the whistle. I always try to stay in the QB vision, keep the play going, try to get those big plays. You know, that that's momentum play. So you want to – me just being able to do that uh, helps the team out. i got one more for you. Offense offense usually has a difficult time in New Orleans because of the noise. How, uh, do, you, how, do, you prep for, I mean, how do you guys prep for that? I never played there, so oh, I mean, okay. I'm unfamiliar with that, that territory. But – uh, I played in a lot of big games at crowd noise there, you know. So uh, it's nothing new to me. So just being able to just back in those type of situations, just you just don't really worry about the noise and just try to shut the crowd up by making plays. And that's all you really can do. As long as we play as one and uh, do everybody do their assignments, uh, we should be fine. How strong do you feel your connection with Bryce is on the field? Uh, it's, it's, it's real strong. You know, we building day in and day out. Um, like I said, we, we study out the field. Talk about plays during in between uh, periods or that at, at practice, um, and even getting like little extra reps on the side or whatnot. If plays that we didn't miss or we didn't connect on, like little stuff like that goes a long way. And you know, just us being able to talk about little stuff like that uh, shows you like the growth in our, our relationship on the field.